What's up, Pete Swapping Nerd here. These are the worst earbuds I have ever owned, and they are made by Sony. Believe it or not, I have owned a lot of bad earbuds, including ones from 7-Eleven, which were used to film my first Saber Smash video. These headphones that came with my brother's metal detector, and believe it or not, these earbuds made by Sony of all companies are actually the worst earbuds I have ever used. Sony has a pretty good reputation, for me at least, or at least it did until I got these earbuds. So, uh, yeah, so I had a good, I thought Sony was a good company but to get earbuds from, but I guess not, their earbuds suck, so let's get right into the video. Let's start off with build quality. Now, uh, the Sony earbuds come with, uh, like, three types of different nubs or whatever they're called. I don't know what they're called, I'm just gonna call them nubs. Now, what I mean by nubs is, uh, these things right here that are the rubber protecting your ear from the actual bud. Now, it came with small, medium, and large. Now, the earbuds use medium by default. Now, uh, I went with the large ones because, uh, I have, uh, because the small and medium ones fell out of my ears too much. However, even the large ones still fall out of my ears pretty often. So, yeah. <laughs> now, another thing is one of them shipped sort of not bent, but kind of smashed. So, as you can see, uh, these this earbud is kind of, uh, kind of squished to be vertical or whatever instead of round like the other one. So, instead of being like, this, it would be like this. So yeah, that's an issue. Another thing is these earbuds don't have a remote for turning up and down the volume, which I've come to expect with either, even 7-Eleven earbuds. Wait, did that have it? I don't remember. I think it did, but I'm not sure. Uh, it does have this thing, however, where you can like turn this up and it will make this go into a string. However, it's not truly in a string because you could do this so I, I guess it just makes the earbuds look like it's came together but really they're still together so I don't get the point of whatever uh, this thing right here is let's talk about sound quality these earbuds have the worst sound quality I have ever heard from anything and I've tried earbuds that I've gotten from 7-eleven before basically Imagine if you turn this video from 1080p to 144p and the difference it makes in video quality. Now, imagine that, but with audio quality instead. Oh yeah, one thing I forgot to mention is that the left lane is much more quieter than the right lane. So instead of your music sounding like this... Come as you are, as you were. It sounds like this. So, uh, I haven't done this comparison yet, but uh, I'm gonna compare these earbuds with the, these headphones that came with my brother's metal detector. So actually, behind my phone, I have an iPad here, so I'll just uh, play Let's Do Nirvana from Apple Music and see if I can notice the difference in sound quality. Now, uh, these headphones are pretty bad because they just came with, uh, with my brother's metal detector, so yeah. Anyways, I'm about to play a song. I'm gonna play. Let's do Come As You Are. Oh, yeah, did I mention that there is also a static sound in the background? So there's some noise in the background. So, yeah, these are pretty bad. Now, it's time for the metal detector headphones. Now, these headphones actually rattle uh, when you shake them. So these are not very good build quality at all, but let's see if it has better sound quality than these earbuds, even though these are probably like 10 cents, I'm guessing, because they're horrible. Oh yeah, this sound quality is just way better. I can actually hear each individual instrument compared to this. Oh gosh, that is way better. And believe it or not, these are actually broken. Only the left lane works, but this left lane 
can actually is actually way better than these. So uh, I'm definitely gonna refund these and get better earbuds because uh, let's pause this music because uh, these are the worst earbuds I've ever owned. Even 7-Eleven earbuds sound better than this, and that's sad because the 7-Eleven ones I believe were I think six dollars. These were. $11, so almost double the price. And honestly, I'd be disappointed if I got these earbuds for free. That's how bad these were. I'd be disappointed if I got these for free, but I paid $11 for this. So, uh, yeah. I, I would not recommend these earbuds at all. Thank you for watching this video, uh, and I'll see you in the next one.